Okay, so hi again, guys. All right, I got to thinking after doing that last video that I want to go over something with you because I've got a feeling there's a bunch of people that are going to be jumping all over and all worried about the pigeons and the geckos for stealing energy or feeding off your energy. But I want to go over something with you. You guys, every single one of you, uh, you do the same thing. You just do it in a different way. Because that is the nature of the dualistic game. There is a ebb and flow of energy back and forth in a dualistic manner. So let's say you don't have enough energy. You're hungry, for instance. Just like they are in a way hungry. Well, they just cut out the middleman is all they do. They, they're on a higher level and they understand energy transfer better than you do. So they don't need to breathe in oxygen, which is energy. You are breathing in oxygen, which feeds your body energetically. They don't have to eat food anymore, which is energy that you are taking from the animals and the plants, and you're converting it. It is just you use a middleman, and you know about energy vampires, which I know you don't believe this, but every single one of you, for the most part, have been, and sometimes still are, energetic vampires. Also, you get energy from the sun. You get energy from everything around you. It's just the ebb and flow of energy. It is the nature of this game. So, when I tell you that that's what the, the geckos and the pigeons are doing, that is not meant for you to judge them or to get angry or to be afraid of them in any way. I want you all to understand and be beyond that at this point, that you can see the bigger picture, that this is just another way of exchanging energy in the dualistic game. When you get to 5D, what happens is in the fifth dimension, you bypass even that. You go even further than that, and you balance your energy within the dualistic game. You still have to do it. There's, you're still in the dualistic game in five, fifth dimension. Fifth dimension is within this dualistic game. It is not death. You do not die and go to the f fifth dimension. You can be born in the fifth dimension later if you want to, but if you're going to go from here to the fifth dimension, this is not death. You don't go to fifth dimension after you die, just like you didn't die when you went from the third to the fourth dimension. You will go from the fourth to the fifth dimension. The difference is the fifth dimension is just a lot different than three and four. If you were to see the lower levels, or if you could remember how deep and dark the third dimension was at its lowest, you would realize how different it is right now. But right now you're in the midst of all this drama and you can't see that. But you will someday. In the fifth dimension what you do is you balance that energy by using your own energy that's directly um, connected to source and you balance it yourself. You realize you're much more of a god, and you cut out even more of the middlemen. Lots of times in the fifth dimension, it's an exchange of energy that is on purpose. Like you will interact with the sun because you're talking to the sun, and you'll exchange energy. Um, it's a much more of a conscious agreement of an energy back and forth. Uh, sort of thing. That in the fifth dimension, you still don't have everything that is in the game of, of this dualistic game because you're still in a, a human body, even though you can transfer that into a bird or a grasshopper. But whatever, you're in some kind of a physical body in the fifth dimension. But you still have that ebb and flow of energies that are different that you can change. Let's take, for instance, if you decide to, to become... A grasshopper instead of a human. There will be a transfer of energy within the game. Now you can do it directly from source if you want to, but because you can talk to every energy around you in the fifth dimension, 
you will probably do the majority of that by communicating with other grasshoppers so you can get you can say okay all right what are the energies to make it so that I can be look like you what is what is what is the energy layout of that and they will feed you kind of a blueprint well that is feeding you energy and you'll take that blueprint and you'll take what energies you already have and then you'll take whatever else you need or want to create either a giant grasshopper or a tiny grasshopper does that make sense probably not at all well we'll continue down this road because I think I'm going to start at the beginning of my death and I'm going to start videos way back at the beginning and be as detailed as I possibly can so I think you guys are maybe ready for some more details and I think it would be easier on you if I start from the beginning I gotta walk you all the way through it and then we'll end up in 5d and then I'll go past that and somewhere in there I will I will talk to you about outside the game altogether um, three years in I'm gonna give it another go even though it's very difficult because it's like explaining um, oranges to people who have never seen an orange or tasted an orange before it's very tricky okay so the point of this video is for y'all to understand be be bigger about this do not be afraid do not be angry do not be judgmental at the ge at geckos and pigeons they are simply doing what you do already they do it in a different way that is all the difference is that you have been what you think has been it's been against your will now ultimately nothing can be done against your will it's just an illusion that you don't know what's going on because you're just playing like you're in amnesia in reality you've got a bigger part of you that knows everything that's going on nothing is done against your will ever or anything else's that is absolutely impossible and I cannot cannot say that enough is that nothing can be done against anyone anything any planet any galaxies any leaves will they know exactly every bit of it is a part of the all that is every bit of it's got a part of consciousness there is no consciousness that is smaller or older or younger or better or worse than another okay it's just a different part of the consciousness of the all that is different part of God that you are having their own experience in their own way whether it's inside this game or outside of this game okay so the point here don't judge the geckos and the pigeons okay all right this is a short and sweet one I love you guys so much and it's so nice to talk to you guys that I'm talking to um, I really appreciate the uh, the sessions and thank you for your support and thank you for um, thank you for you guys let me know that it helps that really is very meaningful to me so yeah love you guys so much huge hugs and I'll talk to you later bye now